Dearly beloved in Christ, this third Sunday of Advent is traditionally called Gaudete Sunday. The word Gaudete is a Latin word meaning rejoice. Today's celebration is therefore a reminder that Advent is a season of joy because our salvation is already at hand. Today, the Church calls us, her members, to rejoice because God's promise of sending us the Messiah is coming to its fulfillment. In today's Gospel from Matthew chapter 11, from verse 2 to verse 11, we hear Jesus' response to John's inquiry about his identity by pointing to the signs of the kingdom that are being worked through him. He also talks about John's role in the coming of the kingdom of God and further praises him as more than a prophet. It appears that at this point, John is yet to identify the Messiah whose coming he has been sent to prepare. He must have seen in Jesus all the features and marks of a true Messiah. So in response, Jesus points to the miracles he has performed telling John's disciples to communicate that to John so he can make his own decision to believe that he is the one. Remember that John came to announce and prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah by calling the people to repentance. He devoted his life to this mission, staying in the desert with his clothes and diet reflecting deep asceticism. As part of his mission, John never shied away from condemning the evil exploits of Herod. Chapter 14 of Matthew's Gospel tells the story of John's arrest and subsequent execution by Herod Antipas. It is from the prison that John sends his disciples to Jesus to ask him if he is the Messiah whom he has been waiting for or should he expect another. Speaking with the disciples of John, Jesus concludes his statement thus, Blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. These words of Jesus capture my interest. They appear to suggest that John was probably angry with Jesus for seemingly being passive about his plight. The scripture did not tell us that Jesus made any visits to John in prison. Could this be an oversight on the part of Jesus since he started his public ministry? John may have expected at least some words of encouragement from Jesus. After all, he prepared for his coming and baptized him. This probably might be a reason why he sends his disciples to Jesus to remind him. Most of us can identify with this kind of reaction, especially when our expectations are not met. Jesus, however, did not turn a blind eye to John's role in the coming of his kingdom. While the disciples sent by John were leaving, Jesus turned to the crowd and spoke to them about John the Baptist. Jesus praised John for his role in preparing for his coming. He pointed out that what attracted the people to John was nothing else but because John was a prophet, and in Jesus' own words, more than a prophet, he further described John the Baptist as the greatest among those born of women. Brothers and sisters, Jesus' message to John about the miracles he had performed reminds us of the salvific ministry of Jesus described by the prophet Isaiah in chapter 61 of his prophecy. Jesus' presence among us is therefore an indication that our salvation is here awaiting fulfillment. It is for this reason that the Church invites us to rejoice today. The aura of this salvation is felt in the assembly of God's people through the manifestation of Jesus' miraculous powers. So, as we await the coming of God's kingdom, may His grace help us to prepare effectively by our words and our deeds. Thanks for reflecting on the word with me. The Lord be with you, and Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.